Hello, today I'm planning to replace batteries in this uninterruptible power supply from Polish company called Iver. And I wasn't planning to record video because there is nothing interesting in just swapping batteries. But I would like to present you something really interesting that happened with those old batteries. And as you can see, looks like the case cracked and the electrolyte with the glass absorbing mat start to falling out. So this might be a little bit interesting and we are going to replace them. This is 24 volt systems. We've got two 12 volt batteries in series. Most likely there are generic five amp hour each of them. And we've got that metal bracket that is held by those two screws. To get better reach, I will use that contraption. We've got our extension. And now we should absolutely, without any problem, gain access. And as you can see, it nicely cracked and the electrolyte is leaking out. Everything is hot glued, which is not very pleasant. Thankfully, looks like the hot glue It's quite easy to remove and this is one battery and that one looks fine. I can hear the vent are rattling inside. So yeah, it was definitely overcharged. That one is in the worst condition. Here you can see how it cracked and the form. I never seen anything like it. Unlike a AGM battery. In the wet cell where they were left in winter, yes, you can have crack from expansion, but here I seen a bulge like a melted but never cracked. What happened here? Here I've got two batteries that we are going to be mounting and those are five amp hour. We are going to arrange them like this. The first one was negative. So we go over here. Now our middle interconnection go like this. Keep in mind we are unplugged and our 24 volt positive. We go like this. I will not apply glue, but we are going to put our bracket back. We've got our batteries in place. We are ready to give it a try. We just need to connect this terminal. And the moment of truth. And looks like it's inverting and we are on battery. Let me present it to the mains AC. And the main AC was detected and we are charging our 
a battery so looks like we've got the success I need to wait until the battery is going to be fully charged and measure voltage and it looks like it's working so we are going to put our enclosure back just to be safe I left power supply overnight to allow it fully charge and in the meantime I create this adapter that is converting IEC plug into French socket and that means we can now test it out. So here we've got our regular computerized plug and I can insert it like this and here we've got our regular French socket and for our test I will grab 300 watt load and that's going to be our well-known hair dryer so you can watch my other videos when I'm tracking ink it on my goal zero so you know that we've got around 200 watts at the first gear and 300 watts at the second so let's start the UPS it's booting up we are working from battery and we go into the first gear no alarm the hair dryer is blowing our air and now we go into our second gear we've got 300 watts being pulled from our power supply not single alert led indicators showing that everything is operational so thank you very much for watching i hope you find that interesting see you next time and bye bye